Do you have tension in your shoulders and neck that's causing you excruciating pain? And does it seem like it never goes away? Well, if the problem's pestering you beyond relief, we've got some news about some solutions that might be able to help you. So here I am with Dr. Adewale Adeneron with the Baptist Health System, who's gonna explain a little bit more about that. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, the condition we're talking about today is, is cervical myelopathy. Okay. Uh, this is a condition that happens basically because of arthritis. Uh, the space available for the spinal cord in your neck can be really narrowed. And the reason, the reason why it's important is because typically, uh, if it's left alone, people's symptoms progress. It's one of the leading causes of disability in elder, amongst el elderly Americans, and it's missed too often. Wow, because I guess just over time, you know, like said, our, our, our bones, our joints, and things just start to experience, uh, experience some pressure. and They, and, they deteriorate. And, yeah. and one of the consequences in the neck, unfortunately, uh, is that they reduce the space for the, for the spinal cord, and they start to squeeze it, and it begins to die. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the, the most common reasons that people ultimately come in is because it, this can cause you really severe arm pain. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you notice that your loved one is having trouble with fine motor skills, difficulty buttoning their shirt, difficulty with their handwriting, trouble with gait or being able to walk briskly, they may have cervical myelopathy and it should be looked at it as soon as possible. Wow, so it's a back issue, but the, the symptoms they're seeing are in their arms and hands. It's a, it's a neck issue, but yes, it, it, it squeezes the nerves that go into your arms and, and hands, and it also squeezes the spinal cord, which allows you to control your feet uh, as well. And so people have trouble with, with their gait, they start mm -hmm. to fall, mm -hmm. and then the symptoms progress over time, even to almost almost a paralysis. And that, that's why, you, that's why we, we take it sort of seriously, and, and that's what we're on the news trying to talk about uh, yeah. to people today. You don't want your loved one to, to get much worse before they get better. Sure, especially when there's some options out there to, to help them get better. Because I know anytime someone hears about needing surgery on the spine or the neck or anything, people get really nervous because they worry about things that can go wrong. Everybody gets nervous about spine surgery. You know, for, for mo most commonly people who have this condition, mm -hmm. the surgery to treat it is, is very straightforward and, and pretty safe. Uh, and, uh, 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 but you want to catch it earlier rather than, than later because some of the deficits don't get better. The real benefit of the surgery is to stop things from getting from getting worse over time. Okay. And how do people, when they come in, how do you, how, how do we how do you look at them to discover what the issue might be and if they need surgery? We do a simple. We start off with just a very simple physical exam. I, I take a, a just a detailed history. Uh, we talk about what type of trouble they've been having, and then a simple physical exam will usually reveal the neurologic changes uh, to me, and then that will prompt getting an MRI, and then we can talk about treatment options after the fact. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, everyone, you do not need to suffer because there are solutions for you. You can go online to baptisthealthsystem.com or you can uh, give them a call. The number's there on your screen and uh, they can help you to have some relief, right? Absolutely. Okay, great seeing Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you for the information. Stay with us. We'll be right back.